to my night routine. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was planning on having this night routine be like my productive night routine where I work out after work and then I come home and this and then that. And honestly, I woke up this morning with like a little bit of a head cold, something going on, and I am not having a super productive night routine. I decided I need to just come home and take care of myself and wind down, get some rest tonight. So I ordered some takeout, as you guys saw. I got some sushi, or I got a poke bowl, which I'll show you guys in just a little bit. It looks so good. Um, but I always come home and shower and wash my face and take my makeup off before I do anything. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how I do that. I have been using the Foreo Luna 3 cleansing brush and facial massager. One of my favorite things about this brush is that it has silicone bristles, which silicone is much cleaner and less likely to um, kind of like build up germs in. So all of my other um, different types of facial brushes that I had before I got rid of. This is the only one I use now. I also love that it's so tiny. I can take it with me anywhere. It's double-sided. This one has the firming massager on the back for your neck, face. I love it. I use it every single day, usually at night after work, um, and then I pair it with the Foreo Micro Foam Cleanser. My favorite thing about this cleanser is that it gets super foamy, which I'll see, show you in a minute, and I need my cleanser on my face to get like really, really foamy for me to feel like my skin is feeling really clean. And pairing this with the Foreo brush afterwards, my skin has seriously never felt more clean. I always go, um, over it with like a toner wipe after and usually if I use any other type of brush I'll have like a little bit of leftover residue and this is the only brush that I've noticed that I have zero residue left over after I use it so I'll show you how I use it all right I always dampen my face first and then I go in with about a dime size amount of the cleanser and then I just start rubbing it in She's a lover like a After rubbing that in really well, I go in with the Foreo app. This is so freaking cool, you guys. The Foreo app connects to your facial cleansing brush. And like I said, I have the Luna 3. So it shows me at the top my devices, which you can see it's connected to my Luna 3 brush at the top. So I click on my brush. It has all sorts of information, um, such as device use, how to use it, how to take care of it. Um, different type of treatment plans, you name it. It even has a find my massager and so it uses Bluetooth. So if you leave your brush in your purse or backpack and you lose it, you can find it by using this app, which I think is so cool. Um, but I'm gonna click start cleansing and it's connecting right now to my brush. And as you see, it gives me my own little treatment plan. I'm going to click start. And voila, my skin is so clean, so fresh. It doesn't leave my skin feeling like overly dry either. It just feels really clean and really fresh. Super easy to clean too. I just rinse it with water, get all of the um, cleanser off, dry it off, and then it comes in this easy bag that I can store it in. Um, and this is really nice because I just put this in my backpack and if I go to the gym after school like I usually do, I bring this with me in case I need to wash my face afterwards and always pair it with their Foreo microphone cleanser. And then after that, I just finish up my skincare routine with some toner and moisturizer. All right, now that my skin is squeaky clean, I'm going to change into some comfy clothes.
Does anybody else just ever get like so tempted just to climb into bed when you get home? If you guys watch my vlogs, I vlogged today at school and you guys would have seen that I was craving sushi all day. If you don't watch my vlogs, definitely subscribe. I vlog every single day. This is Nala and Nala is a crucial part of this YouTube family. Um, she appears in like every vlog, so get to know her. Um, but I was talking today about how much I was craving sushi and I love poke bowls and we have this place nearby us that has like amazing poke bowls and they deliver so i decided to order i door dashed one when i was still at school and it delivered two minutes before i got home amazing um so yeah how good does this look it has rice um spicy tuna sour cream avocado edamame red onion cream cheese spicy mayo <laughs> i got some extra spicy mayo because i love it so much and then i also ordered some miso soup can't really show you but i love miso soup so i'm just having myself a day nala and i are just gonna chill we are home alone tonight my boyfriend kyle is out for the night so just the girls tonight so i'm going to <laughs> eat my poke bowl in my soup and I don't know I think I'm gonna watch The Bachelorette from last night that's what I'm gonna watch comment down below if you guys watch The Bachelorette it is um, Michelle's season I almost forgot whose season it even was it's Michelle's season oh my gosh was it not on last night isn't it on on Mondays oh my gosh it's on on Tuesdays you guys, it's on tonight. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna set an alarm. I could have sworn, didn't it used to be on Monday nights if you guys were Bachelor fans? Let me know, didn't Bachelorette used to be on on Monday nights? Um, anyway, okay, well I'm just gonna watch something else. Kyle and I have been watching the newest season of You, season three of You. Comment down below if you guys have also been watching that. We love it, like we really love it we've been watching it every night we're almost done with season three um but this season is just so freaking good and it's pretty messed up though so comment down below let's talk about it if you watch you season three um another show kyle and i've been watching is modern family it's obviously a really old show it's been on for like 10 years but we never watched it all um and so it's on hulu so we went back and we started it from the first season and we've been watching it all the way through and we're on season 10 you guys um i think there's 11 yeah there's 11 seasons so we're almost done um but we're on season 10 so since he's gone i might go back and watch some episodes that he watched without me so rude and it's like the number one rule relationship you don't watch a show without your girlfriend but i was asleep so we watched it without me okay I'm gonna sit back and eat my poke bowl. The other day, something pretty interesting caught my eye. It's a few hours later. It's now almost seven o'clock. <laughs> so I'm about to turn on The Bachelorette. Um, but it's been a very chill night routine. <laughs> like I said, it was going to be. Um, I ate, and that poke bowl was so so bomb. And then I just watched some Modern Family, and then I've just been sitting here editing for a while. I took a little nap, <laughs> not gonna lie, I did take a little nap after I ate. I napped for like not even an hour. Um, and then, yeah, it's just been super chill, just been editing this video. And I was just thinking, nights like this, where it's like just me and Nala at home, and just like super chill, remind me of nights in college, and... I lived alone for whenever I first moved away to college, um, my first semester of school, so the first like eight months of um, college I think it was, I lived completely on my own in a new town, I like didn't know anybody and it was just me and Nala and 
it was just such like a huge period of growth for me because I am still and was previously a homebody like to my core um, and it was really hard for me to move away from home and move to a city where I didn't know anybody but I mean I swear like that was the best time of my life and I really like grew into who I am today because I just had to spend so much time alone with myself and just like get to know myself um, and set that like routine and kind of have like self-discipline to go to school, come home, study, do my homework, make myself dinner, clean the house and all that and that's just whenever I became really really independent because prior to that I lived with my parents and didn't have to do any of that stuff and it was just one of the best times of my life and I think back on it all the time and I've been living with living with Kyle for almost two years now and I love it um, but I do sometimes think back to that time in my life whenever I was single and I lived alone it was literally just me and all the girl and every single night was like this it was just like so chill and um, I don't know it's just it's fun to like think back on those different periods of your life um, and I'm curious like what stage of life you guys are in who are watching this I know my viewers are like 98% women and so I know I'm speaking to a lot of women out there um, any boys watching hello <laughs> but you can answer this question too um, I'm just curious like what stage of life are you guys in comment down below I know a lot of students watch me, but I know a lot of teachers watch me, a lot of moms watch me. So, are you a student? Are you in college? Um, are you away for the first time on your own? Oh, it's my alarm to watch The Bachelorette. I need to turn it on. But, um, yeah, just comment down below, like, what's going on? <laughs> just let's talk, let's chat. I just love videos like this where... I can just sit down and just like chat with you guys as if we're just like literally hanging out in the same room and I just want to like get to know you guys all better and I want you guys to just get to know me better because I plan to be on here for a long time and I think it's so much fun that I now have this channel to kind of like document my life where I wish so badly I was vlogging during my um college years and that way I could look back right now on me being in college that'd be so fun to watch but I know in a few years from now it'll be really fun for me to look back on these years of my life as well and so yeah let me know are you guys in school are you living alone do you live with a boyfriend do you still live at home with mom and dad um do you have kids like what's the situation and yeah I think it's just so important to like really embrace the stage of life that you're in because you'll never get it back um and also this like part of yourself because I really feel like every year if not like every six months is almost like a new chapter of my life and not only are like my life circumstances different but I am very different and I'm always growing and changing and like who I was just two years ago when I started this channel like I feel so different like I look back and I recognize her from two years ago I know two years isn't that long ago but I mean especially at this like phase of my life being in my mid-20s like I'm just growing and changing so much constantly and so I look back even just two years ago if not three four years ago in college and I'm like I'm just so different already so I know um, there's just so much more change and growth to happen and I just think it's so exciting um, and yeah anyway Super random late night <laughs> thought. Okay, quick bachelorette chat. If you're watching, <laughs> who do you guys like? Like, who are you rooting for? If you're watching, comment down below. I really like Clayton, and fun fact, he's from Columbia, Missouri, where I live. He went to Mizzou, <laughs> which is where Kyle goes to school and where we live right by. Um, and I think he was on the Mizzou football team, which is just so cool. And then Kyle said that he heard there was another guy who I don't think he made it past the first night who worked in the hospital at Mizzou. I don't know if he was a med student or what, but he was apparently on the, or on the season too. How cool. I think it's so fun when like people from your hometown um, are on there. So, but he's actually my favorite. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> he's actually one of my favorites, Clayton. And I really like Nate. Um, I think those are my two favorites right now. I don't know. I can never get Kyle to watch shows like this with me, like Bachelorette, 
he just was like not into it and he's not the type of guy that will just watch it just for me <laughs> like he's like nope i'm out um and he's about to be home so he's gonna walk in and be like really <laughs> by the way i got an exciting package um if you guys follow mrs kellogg's bunch kathy on instagram or youtube you guys would know that she her and i are best friends and she's pregnant and she is having her baby shower this weekend and i'm helping her plan it and i ordered this super cute sign i just ordered it off of etsy and it came like literally in a few days how freaking cute is this so that's fun definitely if you don't follow um kathy over on youtube she has a youtube channel as well it's mrs kellogg's bunch i think she's just kathy kellogg on youtube but she might be vlogging her baby shower i'm not sure um so definitely follow her if you don't guys when peter throws that jacket in the pool i'm sorry if you're not watching bachelorette and you're like what are you talking about but if you are watching bachelorette and you saw that moment when peter threw willie's jacket in the pool and willie cried oh my gosh i literally wanted to like cry for him that jacket like meant so much to him and he just threw it in the pool there's always a villain and i know it's the way they edit the show they make the villain like out to be like the worst guy ever i know it's editing but i hate peter <laughs> he's like the worst person ever bella is enjoying the show with me she has to be under the covers like at all times right hello hello stinky look at that Oh my goodness. What do you do? Go. getting into bed it is going on 9 40 um just kind of settling in i like to be in bed by 9 9 30 kyle came home and we ate dinner together and watched <laughs> some stand-up comedy together and then he's staying down there for a little bit longer but i'm going to bed because i'm exhausted <laughs> and he knows that i go to bed at like nine every night but usually i just get in bed by nine and sometimes I have some editing to do. I'm gonna finish up some editing. Um, probably just stay up for like another half hour or so. I used to have a really productive nighttime routine where I would read a book every single night, um, or I would read um, part of the book every night in bed. And I need to get back on that routine because that always helped me like get in the right mindset for bed. And um, yeah. Nala, of course, is here to join me, um, but one thing I wanted to talk about real quick, um, on my last vlog I talked about my bedding, and I was getting some questions about it, and I wanted to mention that the sheet set that I have been sleeping in, I think Kyle and I have been sleeping in it now for a couple months, is by a brand called Seed Joe, I'll put it right here, and I have their 100% French linen sheet set, and I personally love it um, I am a linen type of girl I we have all linen bedding I love just like that like comfy cozy thick linen feel our duvet cover is Belgian linen as well um, and the Sejo sheets that we have are such great quality and pretty affordable I mean sheets you kind of get what you pay for so um, the sheets that we have I would say are pretty affordable sheets um but you get really great quality and they're just this thick white linen which is perfect for winter time because it is getting a little bit chillier at night um so yeah these are my favorite and then i do sleep with a silk pillowcase honestly i do like linen pillowcases i think they're comfortable but silk is supposedly really good or just better for your skin and your hair to sleep on so i bought both kyle and i a silk pillowcase and i'm actually actually i'm not gonna say it but i have some 
gift and ideas in mind this um christmas and if you guys are looking for a good christmas gift to get friends or family um silk pillowcases are a great gift <laughs> because they're just kind of like that luxury thing that, that nobody really wants to spend money on but they're really nice to have a couple nighttime staples um one my retainer super hot i know but gotta wear your retainer every night friends especially i mean if you have braces you know gotta open this girl not she's just like has to be the center of attention and everything i do and she has to always have me petting her at all times but also game changer is aquaphor not for you i put on aquaphor every single night on my lips and i'm actually gonna put some like around my nose just because it's like really like dry and raw right now from my um like blowing my nose all day um and then i also <laughs> Guys, this is so glamorous. Eucerin, really great moisturizer. Just that influencer life. <laughs> Click the link below for you, my Eucerin. Um, no, but really, Eucerin is such a good moisturizer. And I know this is weird, but I heard, I think it was a YouTuber, I think it was Keaton Milburn that I was watching, and she said that she puts lotion on her feet every night and they it like changed the game for her and her feet are like so soft now and so i started doing it and it just it feels nice just like lotion up your feet get them all like soft i know some people are gonna be like oh like that feels so weird but you can always put like socks on if that helps afterwards but um i love doing it and my feet have never been so soft. I literally got a compliment from one of my friends who like my feet were on her or something and she was like, why are they so soft? I'm like, dude, I know it's like lotion every night. That's that's key to soft feet. So I usually put Eucerin all over my feet, hands, arms, and then Aquaphor all over my lips and it keeps me nice and moisturized, especially in the winter time because guys, winter is already, it feels like it's already here because it's so cold out and I'm dry. I already have a head cold. My nose is raw. So it's starting. Um, so let's try to <laughs> keep that seasonal depression away, guys. Nala and I are going to sit here. I'm going to finish editing and that's pretty much the end of my night routine. I know this was like a super boring night routine. By the way, I know my hatch, um, alarm, the light from the alarm always puts these super weird lines from my camera i assume you guys can see that it's not just on my camera um but anyway i just wanted to thank you guys for watching this night routine this was a super real and raw night routine like i did not glamorize my night one bit so you guys get to see the real me the real way that i spend my nights at home and this is it guys like it's just me nala kyle and i sometimes it's just me and nala and I am just a human being and I feel like people need to stop glamorizing everyday life because it's not that glamorous but like it's the little things that make life worth living and I love sharing my life with you guys and I feel like it's way easier to connect whenever you're just like your true honest self and I know that a lot of you guys relate and a lot of you guys are having the exact same night tonight so I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me during my quick night routine um thank you so much for all of your support i just appreciate you guys so so much more than you know um definitely leave some comments down below and tell me about yourself if you're still watching in this video don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me kind of about yourself and who you are how old you are what phase of life you're in right now are you in college are you stay at home mom I want to hear all about it because I don't want to be the only one talking about myself here all the time. I want to hear about you guys too. So anyway, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.